Hello, welcome. This is a weekend tarot reading for all the zodiac signs. So, thank you for liking and subscribing. I hope you're doing okay. Let's go into the energy and let's see what message we get. So, we're going to do Taurus first, okay? So, Taurus for the weekend. What message we have? Okay, a major life change brings you great blessings. Wow. So something is changing for Taurus this weekend. I'll pick another card, another oracle card. You've got wisdom here. You've got the sage, which is a really excellent card to get. Um, that basically means, well, something something is coming from within you about your wisdom. And it's you're, you're making a change that's wise, okay? So we'll pick a tarot card for you, Taurus, for the weekend. You've got the Page of Wands. There is definitely some good news here for you. The Page of Wands represents good news. It can res sort of represent passion as well. You could be feeling very attracted to somebody this weekend. Um, but also, um, as much as that could be attraction, you could be meeting up with someone having some fun this weekend, you're being wise as well. Um, now, it can represent creativity. So you're either being creative this weekend or there's some passion between you and someone else this weekend. Um, but you're, you're using your wisdom with it um, and somehow the situation is changing. Let's see what's going on with your person. Okay, your person here is actually very wise. Um, they've got um, the King of Pentacles. This person's in their mastery. This person will be very generous towards you. Um, now, like I said, this could be to do with your creativities, like your work, your passions, or it could be a lover. Okay, and they will be generous towards you. Um, this person genuinely sees a lot in you. Let's see a message from your person. Could be this person, could be somebody else. Um, okay. <laughs> This person says others are trying to tell me what to do. So this person could be feeling pressures, other life pressures, not necessarily to do with you. Um, but yeah, there's some kind of influences from other people. Okay, um, let's just have a look at what your spirit guides are supporting you with Taurus this weekend. Clear yourself. Um, okay, so spirit guides are going to be helping you release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed. Um, and I feel like that with the wisdom card as well. Um, it feels like you're clearing out ego, you're clearing out any toxic patterns. There's a big change happening for you to do with um, your creativity, a new beginning. You could be receiving good news. You could be getting involved with somebody that you're very attracted to. There's definitely somebody here that wants to be generous towards you. It does look like a good weekend and it feels like a turning point for you. Okay, so that's Taurus. Let's go into um, Virgo. Let's see what we get for Virgo. Okay. <clears throat> <Ooh. laughs> okay, Virgo. Virgo for the weekend. Okay, morning affirmations. Say positive affirmations each morning um, to open the gates of manifestation. So they're basically saying, um, get your energy in the right place in the mornings um, over the weekend. And if you do that, it's going to help you with something you're trying to manifest. OK, you've got a transformational thing happening with here because you've got the death card. Death card is transformation. Um, so, yeah, you're, you're transforming something in your life, maybe yourself or maybe a situation. And you're doing it through the positive energy. Uh, the energy of source consciousness um, that you are embodying. So there's really good things happening here for you. Okay. Hmm. Page of Wands. This is good news for you as well. Um, good news. Um, possibly, again, this is a whole new journey. Um, you could be starting really off fresh with something here, Virgo, in the way you're approaching something. You're approaching something in a different way. And it's going to do you well. That Spirit is saying it's very good news for you. Um, okay. So um, it could be good news for you to do with relationships. Or it could be good news for you to do with um, your creativities, your passion, your work. 
Let's see what's going on with your person, Virgo. Okay, two of pentacles. There's somebody here that is getting a better balance in their life, okay? So this is very good. Um, you're going to find their energy more balanced over the weekend. Um, it's basically looking better between the both of you, whether this is to do with love or whether it's to do with, like I said, your work, your creativity, your passions. Um, it does look good. Um, okay, blimey. You've got somebody here saying, I have a lot of sexual thoughts about you. So, interesting. Um, let's see what your spirit guides are supporting you with. Crown Chakra. Pay attention to your ideas as they are messages from um, messages of the true divine guidance sent in answer to your prayers. So you're going to be receiving some kind of inspirations, some kind of ideas um, from your spirit guides over the weekend. I feel like that's why they're saying it's really important for you to get in this positive energy upon waking. Um, it's supporting you with a very important transformation. It's really good news for you. And I feel it's encouraging some kind of relationship to start off or progress okay so that is virgo let's go into capricorn okay capricorn for the weekends self-forgiveness let go of old guilt and remember that you are god's perfect child so no guilt this is spirit saying to you be in the present moment don't think about the past be here right now Spirit is letting you know it's the best way to be. Um, you don't need to think about the past at all. Um, you've got here throat chakra. So you could be communicating with somebody over the weekend or somebody could be communicating with you, um, which is good. So letting go of the guilt is letting go of ego. And that really does help because basically guilt is a, another layer of ego. And um, as you let go of guilt and you really come into the present moment, um, or it, maybe it's not guilt, maybe it's just letting go of the past. Um, it's clearing out the energy, you see. And as you clear out that type of energy, uh, ego energy, you open up that portal to spirit. Um, and that's probably what's enabling some kind of communication, therefore, to take place. Um, you could be finding communication with somebody in your life getting easier and better. Um, you've got the hero front card, right? So... What's going on here is your commitment to spirit, your commitment to yourself. Um, it's getting much deeper. Um, this is a very spiritual um, thing that's happening here with Capricorn at the moment. Um, and it's a very positive thing because spirit is going to be able to work through your life better and make things happen for you now. Um, your person, hmm, somebody's going to open up to you. Somebody who may have been playing games um, this is the game playing card and it's also deception. There's a lot of ego and um, they're actually going to be opening up. They're going to be more real with you, more honest. Wow. So this is nice. Um, and it's happening because you are embodying um, this energy from source consciousness. OK, Capricorn. You're setting the tone and you're clearing the energy. And so somebody is going to reflect that back to you and open up to you. Um, they're actually saying here, I regret the choices I've made. <laughs> uh, they actually do realise they haven't treated you very well. Um, that could be even somebody else. It doesn't have to be the same person, but somebody realises they want to treat you better now. Okay. Now your spirit guides, Capricorn, they are helping you. Um, right, we've got indigo energy. The person you are inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive and natural born leader right your spirit guides are basically saying you are leading this like i said you are leading this you're coming into a deeper spiritual energy um it's like you're honoring um the way you know you need to be and it's you're taking the lead in this and it's the more stable and aligned with your heart chakra with spirit it's having a positive effect on somebody in your life and um yeah they're, they're going to be able to get closer to you because of this. You're going to see a change. You're going to see a change in your relationship here for the better. And it's happening. Um, and it could be in your relationships in general, but it's happening because of what you're doing spiritually. Okay. So, because um, everything's a mirror, isn't it? So, good news for Capricorn over the weekend. 
um, it's going to be nice to see that person kind of like come closer to you, open up to you more. There's a nice, much nicer flow there. Okay, so let's go into Aquarius. Okay. Healing Heart, you are a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. <laughs> okay. So the work you're doing on yourself, um, maybe the work you're doing generally on Gaia, you know, maybe you've got a life purpose um, that is, it is helping other people heal. The fact that you're healing the, and the work that you're doing. Now, they're talking about you diving deep here. This is really about, um, it's about being very authentic, just being you, you know, and just really letting everybody see um, your light shine, you know, and um, yeah, you, you could be getting deeper into something or deeper into a relationship here because you're ready. Okay, um, now you may have someone in your life or a situation in your life where you're deciding to pull back. Okay, because so you've got here the Eight of Pentacles, which shows that you've been working really, really hard at something in your life. Um, and you're, you're sort of realising, I need to take a step back from this situation or to take a step back from this relationship and not put so much effort in. Um, and actually, that's a really good thing because then you can allow spirit to decide how things go um, rather than forcing something or pushing something. Um, now, somebody you're connecting with has got the star card, okay? Uh, this is very good news. This person is really coming into their alignment over the weekend. You could feel extremely attracted to them, Aquarius. Um, you could also feel very happy with them or proud of them because you're seeing such a positive shift in this person. Um, but that this person will be crystal clear about where they're going and what they're doing. So um, it's very good news for this person. Um, if you have worries about somebody, I would say don't worry about them because they've got their own shining star and they, they're they on point. They're, they're going to be moving towards their star. They're going to be um, getting their wishes fulfilled, you know. Um, you've got here, I have a lot of sexual thoughts about you. <laughs> oh my goodness. You could be feeling like I want to take a step back from a situation. This is driving me nuts. But actually somebody because you're relaxing your energy it's like somebody can actually step forward somebody's definitely got great clarity over you and you could end up i feel um going deeper with this person over the weekend or very soon let's have a look at uh, what your spirit guides are supporting you with books your life purpose involves writing reading editing or spirit selling spiritually based books um, I want to add to that oracle cards, tarot cards, things like that, because I was reading that card the other day when it came out. And afterwards, I thought, oh, it could even be something about a message you receive through an oracle card. Um, so you could be receiving some sort of message from spirit to confirm what you're doing through written any form of written communication or an oracle card or something like that. Um, relax back from a situation. You can relax back. Spirit's kind of basically giving you that permission and saying, you know, be authentic. There's some sort of amazing shift going on for you. Um, and it's like you're really embracing your authenticity. You're really embracing your life. Somebody feels very attracted to you. There's no doubt about that. Um, so it looks set to be a good weekend for you, Aquarius. Okay, let's go into the energy for Gemini. Gemini for the weekend. Empowerment. You are more powerful than you realise. It is safe for you to be um, for you to be powerful. Okay. Wow. You're more powerful than you realise. You've got more power over a situation than you think you have. <laughs> um, lies of the shadow. You're somehow protecting somebody that's vulnerable here with this card. Um, you've got more power, I don't know if that's the right word, you've got power over somebody who's vulnerable. I mean, that doesn't sound right, does it? But you have an impact on somebody who is a vulnerable person. Um, I think there's a spiritual connection here between you and somebody else, and you are really helping them more than you realise. Um, you've got the Six of Cups reversed, okay? So this is about letting go of the past, um, the past no longer affecting you, your childhood no longer affecting you. 
you're really being freed here. Um, you're really being freed from the past. You're really finding your power. You're helping somebody who's vulnerable as well. Um, yeah, there is somebody here that's vulnerable. They've got the Seven of Swords. They may um, act like they're more um, together than they really are. <laughs> okay, uh, they probably need you more than they let on. Okay, that's the, that's the vibe I'm getting. Uh, let's see what this person's thinking, or perhaps it's somebody else in your life. What are they thinking? Oh, yeah, you've got somebody here saying, I'm avoiding our connection, okay? Um, I think you are triggering somebody or something like that. I think you're triggering somebody. You're probably in a more empowered state than they are. Um, you actually have a, a big impact on them. It's almost like they really need you, um, and you're becoming more empowered all the time because you're letting go of the past, um, and finding yourself. Um, so interesting. Let's see what your spirit guides are supporting you with this weekend. Um, Archangel Raphael, the healing angel is with you, supporting you with your healing work. Yeah, there's massive amounts of healing going on for Gemini at the moment. Um, you're really coming into your power. Your spirit guides are helping you with this. There's somebody in your life that is relying on you more than you know. Um, they may, they're probably not letting on. Uh, what an influence you are on them and how much they do need you okay so um i don't that's the message what can i say um <clears throat> i would just say just hold that in mind really um that there is somebody there that isn't probably telling you the truth of how much they look up to you and value you um okay so let's go into leo Blessed change. A major life change brings you great blessings. Okay, so lots of changes going on for Leo here uh, this weekend. Um, and blessings. Some good things happening for you. What else have we got? The singer of healing. So there's healing going on for you or somebody close to you. Very beautiful. Lots of blue energy there. Emotional healing going on. Emotional healing that's going to bring great blessings. Um, you don't need to put so much effort in. Spirit is giving you permission to relax. <laughs> Just allow the situation to be healed by spirit. Somebody is receiving healing and it's all happening via spirit. You don't need to feel like you're responsible for doing it. Yeah, somebody's making great progress here over the weekends. Look at that. Great progress. And that is going to be in your favour. Okay, that looks like somebody who actually really values you, wants to be in a team with you um and um they want to progress things with you so the more you relax actually the more something's gonna progress this weekend um oh <laughs> i just did the wrong yeah do you know the funny i just picked up my consciousness deck and pulled a card from it without realizing stay silent yeah so spirit is definitely saying don't force a situation it's being healed um and this this person's going to want to progress in your favor um, let's take it slowly, please. So there's definitely somebody here that wants to progress things with you. Um, this seems to be what's going on, but there's a lot of healing going on uh, simultaneously to allow this to happen. Um, and you have got here the vegan vegetarian card. Fresh organic fruits, vegetables give you a high life force energy, which elevates your spiritual frequency. Um, you know, so, I mean, we all know that, don't we? But that is really helping um, you channel this beautiful source like energy through you don't need to put effort in here leo i feel like a situation is improving between you and somebody else um and um yeah it's gonna happen really you could see some some kind of relationship improving over the weekend okay let's go into libra oh no aries <laughs> now did i miss libra i don't think i did libra let's go into aries and then we'll do libra Okay, Aries. Empowerment. You're more powerful than you realise and it is safe for you to be powerful. Okay, so there's a relationship in your life where you actually do have more power over the relationship than you realise. I think somebody may be hiding how they really feel about you. Um, yeah, they're saying look at the details, okay, because you may be missing something. You may have missed something and not realise um the impact that you have over a relationship okay 
Um, so Emperor reversed. You may feel like you've been disrespected by somebody and you may feel a little bit like that over the weekend. But it's kind of, I feel, not really true. Um, you are more powerful <laughs> than you know. Somebody's got the world card. My God. <sighs> okay, that's interesting, Aries. This person's realising a major karmic pattern, okay? Uh, they've come full circle with something. It's like they've been putting something off um, and they've probably not been treating you how they should have been. Um, and uh, I would say you'll be surprised this weekend if you look a bit deeper. Um, okay, yeah, I have seen the future with you. I want you by my side. So there's somebody here that... Um, <clears throat> may be having quite an awakening over the weekend of how much they really like you. And um, that's why Spirit is saying, try not to feel like you're being disrespected because actually uh, it's not really true. It's not really true. That may have been the case previously, um, but someone's going to be waking up and realising something. <clears throat> Spirit is giving you advice to cancel, clear, delete. Use only positive words and thoughts as they are rapidly manifesting into form. Ask your spirit guides to cancel the effects of past negative thinking. Wow. If you can keep your mind very clear this weekend, what you're going to find is a situation is going to really turn around <laughs> and it's probably going to like really surprise you. So mind really clear, opens that portal for spirit. Something's going to shift and change around over the weekend. Um, and somebody's going to have an, an awakening about their feelings for you. Okay, so that's all you really need to do. Um, I'm just going to turn my light on because it's just, I literally, since I started, it's got darker and darker and darker. Okay. <laughs> you might, I don't know if you saw Gilbert, he just got down then. That was quite funny. Okay, so let's do Libra because I think I miss Libra out. I went straight from Gemini into Leo. Right, so Libra. Let's see what message we get. I think it's still really quite dark in here, isn't it? I might need to turn the other light on. Okay. Libra. What have we got here? So, protection. Your loved ones and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. Ooh, wow. Okay, so you don't need to worry about somebody so much. You may have somebody that you really love and care about and you tend to worry about them. And they're saying you don't need to, okay? Um, you've got inspiration here, okay, some, now this is an amazing card to get, um, trust in spirit, that's what they're saying, trust in spirit this weekend, because something is happening, that is going to change, okay, um, you don't need to worry, oh my god, you've got the star card, Libra, look at that, I mean, that's amazing to get the star cards, that basically means, you know, you are um, in your alignment. You've got this, the Dreamweaver card and the Star card. You could be really tapping into spirit this weekend. Quite amazing, amazing work you're doing. You've got the Sun card for your person. So they're going to be having a, well, this is a yes from the tarot. <laughs> the, the Sun to the Star. You're a match with somebody. You are a match with somebody, Libra. That is for sure. Um, <laughs> they're saying you're too good for me, I don't deserve you, but you are a match. They shouldn't say that you're a match. Um, that's probably what they feel deep down, and they don't really admit it to you. Um, okay, so Archangel Raphael, the, the healing angel is with you, supporting your healing work. So, well, basically, that means your spirit guides are working with you, okay, Libra, to heal stuff this weekend um, between you and another person. And there's going to be some kind of rapid change, okay? Um, let's go into Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. <laughs> okay, so whatever you're deciding to do this weekend, um, you are correct. You are taking the right approach to this. That is confirmation. Um, you're using psychic power. There's no doubt about it. Intuition already being mentioned. And then you've got that card, which is to do with your psychic power. Um, you're spiritually, do you're doing something 
spiritual here energetically and it's going to create a shift here um, there's an ending here you've been for a very painful time and that time is over you're already through the worst of it this is a massive shift for Sagittarius um, you've got somebody here that is kind of healing and they might be a bit slow this weekend a bit slower than you'd like um, but it's okay because the main thing is something's massively going to shift now for you um, somebody's saying I'm undecided about us, I need time to consider, um, you know, don't rush me, right, okay, but um, they need a bit of time, but that's just because there is something energetic that you're doing, Sagittarius, um, you're ending an old timeline, you're coming into a much more positive timeline here with relationships, um, so don't worry if you don't see immediate results this weekend, because the shift here is going to be amazing, um, crown chakra pay attention to your ideas they are messages of true divine guidance sent in answer to your prayers um so there is something going on here which is amazing for sagittarius you're going to be getting downloads here over the weekends follow those um psychic signs that you're getting of what you need to do and it's going to pay off with regards to a relationship okay something is going to shift with it if it doesn't happen this weekend it's going to happen very very soon Okay, so let's go into Scorpio. Scorpio. Yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. <laughs> okay, so Scorpio, the changes you're making are perfect here. Honesty, being honest with yourself, honest with the situation. You're on point here, Scorpio, with the changes you're making. They're spot on, okay? and um letting go of the past don't go there don't entertain the past um you're gonna find yourself really moving on leaps and bounds now this is about sort of scorpio living in the present moment and your life shifting forward um you've got somebody here with great willpower and determination and they are there to support you with this change they want this change just as much as you do um something is gonna occur you could receive communication from somebody somebody saying that they are quiet to protect you from their ego so they're obviously going through a lot of changes but they've got the willpower and determination to turn things around just like you have um and it's going to be a positive shift definitely um you've got here mediumship you have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones so loved ones in spirit are coming very close to Scorpio at this time. Your ancestors and your loved ones in spirit, um, they're channeling information to you about the changes you're making. Um, you're also connecting to somebody that's making big changes as well in their life. And um, I feel that you're destined basically to come together because your energies and things you're going through are very similar. Okay. Right, let's go into Pisces. Pisces. Divine magic. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. Ooh. Miracles, lovely. Divine magic for Pisces. Honesty. Okay, so being honest with yourself about what's important to you, what you really want. Um, let's have a look here. Okay, you may find your mind's turning over at the weekend thinking about the various options. You have got options. That's the thing. You've got options, but you've got to be honest with yourself about what it is you really want. Align into that and a miracle is going to happen. You've got somebody here that really wants the same things as you and you can move forward so fast together because they've got the chariot. That's a yes from the tarot that you can move forward together. Just, I would say don't get distracted by loads of different options and just hone in on what really means something to you. Uh, we are on hold, but I'm coming back for you. <clears throat> so there's somebody here that is coming towards you at great speed. Um, and all you've got to do is align to that person, okay? Um, you've got here the indigo. You're, um, the person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive natural born leader. That could be you and it could also be your person. And um, basically, spirit is bringing you both together because you are a match. And um, the main advice is not to get distracted by too many different offers that could be there on the table. OK, right. Let's just go into cancer. Let's see what we get. Stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. So don't quit right before the miracle occurs. OK, so have faith cancer this weekend. 
You might be having a wobble, but Spirit is saying there's no need for it. You don't need to have a wobble at all. Spirit Dancer, express yourself. Express your nature. Um, it's very attractive energy when you do that. Um, keep expressing your vibration and things are going to come really good for you. Um, you've got the Ten of Cups there. Um, it's like you're sort of wanting a celebration and you're doubting whether it's going to happen. Um, but just all you've got to do really, Cancer, this weekend is focus on your energy. Uh, keep your energy in the right place and it's going to happen. You've got Page of Cups. Somebody wants to express their feelings for you. Um, they'll be very attracted to you. They might want to explore with you different things. Um, and they're excited. Um, they've even got the card here. I know what I need to do. <laughs> so you just got to stay optimistic. That's what they're saying. Because something really great is going to happen for Cancer this weekend. Um, you're a powerful light worker. It's safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings you great uh, blessings in loving service to the divine. So, you know, this is amazing because basically spirit is saying that as long as you come into the energy of spirit with these cards cancer yeah this is the energy of spirit the energy of source stay aligned to that don't allow any negative thoughts to drop you down keep the vibration high you keep the vibration high you're attracting somebody here that is really excited to spend some time with you okay so that is the message and we'll just finish off with a consciousness card from my deck which hopefully i shall get printed soon Let's see what we get. The matrix is trying to trigger you. Okay, so that's a collective card. Um, if you notice any triggers, just remind yourself, it's just the matrix. The matrix wants to trigger us all the time. Stay strong in spirit. And if you stay strong in spirit, you weather the storm. Your high vibration will attract really good things in this weekend, okay? So that is the messages. Thanks so much for supporting. Thanks for liking, subscribing. And do contact me if you'd like to book in. Peace.